What's up everyone, Takedown here. Welcome back to another video. Today we're gonna to be talking about what to do if your PlayStation 4 is overheating. Let's get right into this. So if your PS4 is overheating, there is some quick and easy fixes that you can do to see if that will prevent it from overheating in the future and fix the problem. Of course, there's numerous things that can be a factor into your PS4 overheating. And I do recommend if none of these work, then taking it into somebody to see if they can figure out and fix the problem. The first thing that you want to do, which to me is common sense, but some people just do not realize that they have to stop gaming. Simply shut down your PS4 and wait for it to cool down. This may take a couple minutes, it may take a couple hours depending on how hot your PS4 is. Some people, if it's overheating, they'll just continuously try to keep launching the PS4 and that is a long-term effect that will, over time, damage your PS4. So I recommend if your PS4 is overheating, whether it's displaying the overheating message or it is blinking the red lights, then I recommend just taking a break from gaming, turning off your PS4 until it is fully cooled down. The next thing you're gonna to want to check for your PS4 is the placements of your PS4. You want to make sure it's placed somewhere that has a lot of airflow so your PS4 can cool down. You want to make sure that the vents are not covered in any way and you want to make sure that it's not placed in a closed cabinets. That to me is something I shouldn't have to say but I see a lot of people are doing that and have it in closed cabinets. That really reduces the airflow and will cause it to overheat heats indefinitely. So I recommend to make sure that the area that you place it not only has great airflow, but is clean. You don't want it to be somewhere that always accumulates dust because that dust will go into the vents and will clog up the vents and the fan and that will limit how much air is going into your PS4 to cool it down and will once again cause it to overheat. Another thing you're going to want to check if your PS4 is overheating is that it is clean. You're going to want to make sure that there is no dust in the vents and there's no dust in the exhaust ports or in the fan of the PS4 and that will mean that you will have to open it up. I do see people that they put um, canned air in their PS4 and they clean out the vents like that. In theory, that does work. That will remove a lot of the dust buildup that is around the vents, but that's not going to fully clean out your PS4 if there is dust in your exhaust port and if there is dust in the fan, usually that will not take any of that dust out. So if you're going to clean your PS4 and your PS4 is overheating, I do recommend you opening up your PS4, which is quite easy to do. I will in the future, if you guys are interested, share a video how to do that. But simply open up your PS4, take out all of the dust that is around any of the vents, fully clean out any dust that you see in the PS4 period. And then for the fan, you're gonna to want to clean that as best as you can. And what I always do is, you don't have to unplug your fan to remove it, but I recommend that you take the two screws out that are holding your fan in place, simply moving your fan to the side. That'll gain access to the exhaust port, which what will happen if there is dust in the fan? The fan will usually blow it into the exhaust ports where it will clog up. So by simply moving the fan out of the way just for a second, you can see if there's any dust there and clean that out as well. Put the fan back, put the two screws back in, put your PS4 back together and you know it is fully clean. That is the best way to clean your PS4 and that is definitely what I recommend doing. Don't just open it up and just take all the dust that you see. Simply remove that fan just temporary just for a second which is quite easy to do and see if there's anything on the exhaust ports of your PS4. That is something that will cause your PS4 to overheat as well. Now if none of that works, the last thing you can do is to try to manually update your PS4. To do this you're going to have to go on PlayStation's website and with a USB drive you're going to want to go on the laptop and you're going to want to download the latest updates onto the flash drive on your laptop and then when you're done you're going to want to go on your PS4, go into safe mode, go into updates, and then you're going to select manually updates. By doing that, then it will prompt you to plug in a, a USB drive that has the update on it. You're going to put the USB drive in and it will start the update process. Now I know what you're thinking, if your PS4 is already up to date, why do you have to go and manually update it with a USB drive? I do recommend doing this because sometimes there is an issue with updates where there is a problem and the PS4 will not function properly. By you 
determining and making sure that your PS4 is up to date. Maybe there was an issue with the last updates or the last update got erased off your PS4. Now by putting it on with the USB, you know it is fully updating and it is up to date. So if you are experiencing more problems, then you will have to obviously take it in for repairs, but you are able to tell them that you did put the latest updates on it and that still did not work. Now again, with these quick and easy fixes, sometimes they do not work for everybody, but for the most part, they do work for a lot of people which is why I enjoy making these videos, sharing how to fix some problems with some easy solutions when it comes to the PS4 and other gaming consoles. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If it did help you, please leave a like and comment, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Please take care. Peace.